Hello, I'm Aaron, and I'd like to introduce you to WTD, Wood Tile Display Technology. Forget LCD, 2K, 4K, and 8K displays. In one week, we've created a 48 display with an unbelievable 0.1 DPI. WTD could use zero energy when paused. This is the purest form of lo-fi. When someone mentions the lo-fi to you again, you tell them, make sure they know WTD is the lowest of the lo-fi displays in all of the known 10 hyperdimensional multiverses. Our staggering 3 million to 1 million aspect ratio is the fruit of a mismatch of ambition and resource scheduling. Let me tell you why and how we ended up creating this great piece of art. First though, I should mention, this video was created as a deliverable for Mark Rober's creative engineering course that my family and I are participating in this month. Uh, the course has been like a fun, positive distraction and it's, it's, it's really great to see all of the projects that the uh, other kids and adults have put together. Um, it's, it's great stuff. So honestly, <laughs> we built WTD, which is based on Daniel Rosen's wood mirror work to spice up the super boring plain hallway near our front door. Uh, we wanted like a wow factor, something that looks and sounds cool, uh, something that brings us joy and keeps changing. Uh, and I, I like art, but art that moves in like interesting ways and can keep getting better through software updates. That's awesome. Now, we wanted to do some technology based art, but someone had put a hard constraint on me that it can't look like a disco, which I think would be fine. But anyway, and also we wanted to make sure there was like low or no power when nothing's changing. Uh, we didn't want to waste energy. Oh, and that professional looking stand that you can see, uh, that's just a quick hack for this video. Uh, we still need to finish up and figure out if this is an art piece or something like it with stepper motors is going to have a permanent place in our home. Uh, if the family vote on it being a keeper, then we'll probably add some motion sensors and other goodies so that, you know, it's not moving unnecessarily, but then it could also be a more interactive experience. We'll see. Uh, and oh, the wave pattern that you can see, that's just a simple math sine wave. There's a water splash effect I'd like to put in there. I can steal that from one of my other builds in the house. Uh, it's in the toilet. You could probably see that now on the screen. The patterns, they're definitely moving way too quick. Uh, another hack for this short video. Uh, in reality, we're going to have it go much slower, calmer, be more relaxing and quieter. Uh, so yeah, that, that'll be cool. So learnings then from this project, uh, during this build, I learned like quite a lot about servos. I uh, coded a bunch before, but never servos. Uh, now with more time, I'd probably use stepper motors, the same as Daniel Rosen. Servos, they, they were pretty cheap to buy relatively compared to steppers, but the quality is <laughs> really varies as you can see from the video. I also learned that my kids had and still have a bunch of end of semester assignments to hand in. So um, well, well done to the kids and teens out there that managed to make time to participate. Good for you guys. Man. Now, while my kids didn't physically assemble much for this build, they together with my wife did help to provide the much needed morale support and ridicule uh, I needed to power through this build. This project forced me to learn a, a bunch about Fusion 360, which I installed three weeks ago, and um, the 3D printer that we got like four weeks ago. Uh, I made a, a bunch of mistakes, but you know, like with anything, continuously thinking and, and looking for ways to do things better, doing things faster, that, that helps as a in the long run with the overall results, right? It's not accepting things the way they are. Anyway, about the build then. So, WTD uses 100% locally sourced materials from Joann's, Michael's, and Amazon. WTD's tile facade uh, was overly planned to have continuous graining of uh, USA chrome balsa wood. <laughs> A beautiful front for the ugly rat's nest of wires hanging off its backside. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to have a, a table saw and chop saw you can see here. It's, um, yeah, that's been really helpful to make lots of tiles really quickly. I probably ended up cutting a couple hundred tiles, <laughs> enough to do a, a three foot by four foot uh, display. So uh, we can share some pictures about that if anyone's interested when we get that done. 
Um, I, you know, the larger this type of display is, the more interesting the effects will be. Yeah, I mean, WTD is using one servo per pixel. Um, and, you know, Velcro magic holds everything together. And uh, we, we can, you know, fortunately replace dead pixels <laughs> without having to replace the whole display. So I guess that's an advantage over the LCD. You know, doing some of the tasks and batches that could be, that was a very helpful way to get a big job done quicker. Now, that's it for the build, for coding stuff. You know, there's, um, this, it's been pretty good. I've done that kind of thing before. Coding, it can be tricky, right? Uh, but if you keep at it and you, you, you're persistent and you, you put in the work and the time and, and if you just if you just keep solving each problem like it's it's just another puzzle uh you know that's, that's got an answer uh, eventually with with practice you, you know you'll get quicker and you, you'll be able to get make those like ideas that you have actually become real right and that, and that my friends is, is how we can build the future we want to live in so just keep learning keep skilling up keep practicing keep at it and with time, you'll just be able to do more and more stuff that you can come up with, you can think of. I'm happy to share code with anyone that's interested. Uh, just feel free to contact me. Uh, and again, I'd like to stress that Daniel Rosen is responsible for this awesome wood tile display art technology. Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing information about your, your projects, how they're coming along. Uh, I can see like we've got a lot of future engineers in our class. That's been a, a really great positive thing to see. Um, so yeah, awesome. Cheers.